Hello, my dear students. Today we are going to have a new lesson in the grammar for third intermediate of stream three. The lesson is past tense forms. Objectives, to identify the three forms of past tense, to introduce the three forms of past tense rules, to write a story using the three forms of past tense. Let's start. Task one. My dear students, I'll give you two minutes to read the story and underline the past tense verbs in this story. Time is up. Let's read the story together. Last summer holiday, I traveled to France with my family. The trip was awesome. We had a lot of fun there. We went to Disneyland. As we were walking in the park, we saw all the Disney famous characters, like Mickey Mouse, which I love the most. Later on, I took photos with the performance of the show I had seen, which was marvelous. We spent the whole day there because we wanted to attend the parade. It had already started when we arrived, but luckily we didn't miss the fireworks show. Going to Disneyland is really fun. I wish to go back there one day. Let's check the, the verbs you already found in this story. I traveled was, had, went, were walking, saw, took, had seen, was, spent, wanted, had already started, arrived, didn't miss. These are all the verbs in the past with different forms in this story. I hope you found them all. Let's now look at the three forms together. The past forms. The first one, past perfect, which one had plus past participle. Form two, past simple, which you all know, know it very well. We have got regular and irregular. So the regular past simple which one end with ed, for example, play, played. Irregular one that we change the verb totally, we change it to a different verb. For example, go, we change it to went. The third form, past continuous. 
verb to be in the past was where plus verb ing. Past simple and past perfect. How can I use these tenses together in a story on no one sentence? Two actions happened in the past. One happened before the other. Past perfect, past simple. This is action number one, and this is action number two. Past perfect happened before past simple. I'll give you an example to make it clear to you. Yesterday, I wore my new dress for my friend's party, which my mother had ordered online. So my mother ordered the dress before I wore it. That's why had ordered, it's in the past perfect, and action number one, then words action number two. This is how to use past perfect with past simple. Action number one, action number two. The second two forms together, past simple with past continuous. Two actions happened in the past, one interrupted the other. Past continuous, going on in the past, past simple interrupted. For example, while I was explaining the lesson for you, someone, for example, entered the room. While she was watching the TV, the electricity went off. It means she was watching she was watching TV, the electricity went off and interrupt the first action. Action one, action two. Task two, let's have more practice. Write sentences using the three forms of past tense. I'll give you three minutes for this task.
OK, my dear students, let's check your sentences. These are some suggestions of sentences if you want to check with us. My sister saw a nice film. It was the same story of a book I had read. Number two, as they were playing basketball, one of the player fell down and was badly hurt. So my sister saw a nice film. The second action, which is I had read. So first, I had read the book first. Then my sister saw the film. So this is action number one, and this is action number two. Here, past continuous with past simple. As they were playing basketball, what happened? Player fell down. So when the player fell down, interrupted their game. OK, so that's what, th so this one is action number one, and this one action number two. Action number one is past continuous. Action number two is past simple. The one interrupted the past continuous. More practice, my dear students, task three. Here you have a story, and you have a blanks and verbs between a brackets. I want you to change the verbs between a brackets to the right form of past tense. I'll give you three minutes to do this task. Time is up. Let's check your answers. Last week, Reem invited me to her house. Should be past simple. 
She had prepared everything for the party by herself. Action happened before the invitation. When I arrived, everyone was there, already there. While we were chatting, an action was going on, what happened? We heard Reem's scream. So Reem's scream interrupted that we were chatting. So an action was going on, which was we were chatting. Then, Reem, then they heard Reem's scream, which interrupted their chatting. That's why this one is a past continuous and the other one past simple. Everyone ran to see what had happened. Again, had happened past perfect because happened before when we ran to see what had happened. We saw Reem hugging a girl and crying. As we were looking, Again, an action was going on. As we were looking at them, surprisingly, Reem smiled to us and said, she is my sister and I haven't seen her since last year. She studies abroad. It was the best surprise has ever happened to Reem on her birthday. We were all happy for her. The party was awesome. We really enjoyed it. This is the story. And this is the different forms of past simple. Uh, sorry, past. We have past simple, past perfect, and past continuous. My dear students, more practice. Now, I want you to write your own story using the three types or forms of the past tense, as we did before in the previous tasks. I'll give you five minutes to do this, and I'm sure that you will do it correctly.
Now, after five minutes, I'll give you a model of a story. This is a model, and I'm sure that your story will be nicer than mine. This is the story I already presented at the beginning. You can go follow it as a model and check how we used the past, uh, the past uh, tense forms, the past uh, simple and the past perfect and the past continuous. Now, I give you in this lesson two models of stories. You can go back and check them and to practice more how to use the forms of past tense. For more to, s to assess your work, you can follow this form. I write about all the elements of the story. I use the three forms of the past tense as we are focusing on the three forms of past. I write the three paragraphs. I write 120 to 140 words. I use correct spelling. I use correct punctuation marks and the right capitalization. I follow the correct layout. This is the, the self-assessment form. You can follow my dear students. Thank you very much. This was the, our lesson for today. And see you next lesson. Bye-bye.